Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Um, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, this is Penance. What you did, it was wrong. Oh boy. Ask us for penance, and that we shall grant to you. Your name has been stripped from you to yourself, and the halls of history rendered from now as the damned one. You are to be cast forth unto the forbidden church, that which we abandoned during the first years of our war on sin itself. The doors will shut behind you, Signaling to all your journey. Take up your sword and your pistol. Today and until the end of time, you shall fulfill your penance. Walk through the portal. Show them our Lord's will, and all your past wrongdoings shall be forgiven forevermore. Let us right, let me turn this back down. Pistol? Sword? Oh man, that's... Yeah, that's got a... 20? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Now, a little bit of it is cut off. For me, at least. But everyone, all you can see it, so that's fine. Yeah, I can't actually see my, uh... That's zoom. Nice, nice. Okay. Do we have controls? We got wads. We have rage. That's everything. We do actually have a jump as well. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay. Hi. I'm Alfred. This is everything you need. This is... Oh my god, this is just what you'd want. Sancta sit mihi lux, non dracos sit mihi dux, dade retro satana. Oh man. I'm not gonna finish that on the off chance that someone's a daemon. Skeleton warriors! Okay, that was a stock sound effect. Uh, aesthetic is pretty great. I like the kind of faux. Hello, beautiful. I like the kind of faux uh, NES game it's it has going on here. Uh, the music kicks so much ass. Holy shit. We played um we played Ziggurat recently and that was a lot of things that I wanted out of a roguelike. Cause it was a lot like um, Heretic. But this is like blood, uh, which is the name of another first-person shooter in the same era as Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem, and Heretic and Hexen. Uh, and blood was about, uh, I think, a preacherman. Quick, goddamn Okay, okay. okay. I definitely wanted to see where that was going, but it looks like this is the same level, although maybe the churches are just the same. You have served your penance. Man. You love to see a good skeleton. Okay, he's dead now. This music is so good. This is exactly that fucking, like... Slipknot 1990s butt rock that you want in a shooter of this of this style. Oh my god, I just 
the little the little sight on the end of this gun is a little crucifix. Okay, I don't know what those do. Don't I have rage as well? I'll wait until I see some enemies and then I'm gonna pop it. Okay, let's go really quickly. I don't know what the little zero in the bottom left means because I can't see all of my screen. And that is a little unfortunate, but that's the only issue I'm having. Oh, that's probably the rage, isn't it? So will one hit just kill me? Because that could be trouble. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of blood. This is fucking fantastic, I will say. Demon Lord! Alright, is he coming back out? Or has he been finished? Is it rage? One moment. No, I have 66 health. Okay, the inability to see all my screen is kind of a uh, pain in my ass, but... Z is activate rage. I've been hitting V. Okay. God, yes. Hell fucking yes. The warping effect on here really, really helps the aesthetic. Yeah, in the olden days, first person shooters, like a shotgun was the problem solver. That was how you that was how you fixed everything. The way that it handles draw distance is really good too. Oh, it's a small man. Clean. That's the same thing from before, I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Gruesome. Yeah, this is very, very quick. Oh boy. Whoa, blood wolves! They got guns. This is certainly serving some penance here. So it looks like as you would in Doom, you don't reload your guns. Excuse me, demon man. Draw. To be expected. Uh, let me see if I can. Actually, now's the time to cut. Uh. Alright, and I'm back. I tried playing with the resolution a little bit. So. Okay, cool. Okay. And this is a new track as well. Okay, cool. Like, in terms of being a shooter, it's technically more primitive than Doom. Even Doom had a use key. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoops. Alright, so let's see if we can go to... Whoops. Like, this is some fucking... Oh, god damn it. Why am I botching it on the second try? Start game. How far does this go? Source of Sin. Dungeons of Dread is where we were. Oh, but I'm starting fresh, huh? Okay, cool. I don't know what the hell those things are, and I do not like them. I will freely admit to hating those fucking things. Okay. Get at me, skeleton. Uh, so I, I talked about this in Heavy Bullets, which is another roguelike shooter. Um... But I'm seeing a lot more color palette diversity just in the first couple of minutes here. Because I talked about in Heavy Bullets how, like, the game has a completely unique color palette. And the art style is all, like, you know, it's it's Devolver Digital stuff. It is all, like, bleeding edge cool. It looks like nothing else. It's this neon, like, pile. And it's cool. The issue was is that I just, damn. I just didn't feel, uh... Like, I was getting a lot of new imagery as I as I went. But in this one, I'm actually able to uh, go all over the place. Which is really cool. So it looks like there might be, like, a main story. As well as... Oh, so if I pick those up at full health, they actually give me overheal, which is cool. Or at least that's what it appears to be. Oh, so everything takes actually way less to kill than I suspected. Is that far away? So far away that the bullets will actually fall out of out of world? Okay. Doesn't look like it is because I definitely killed that guy. Should've just kept shooting. Yeah, men with guns seem to be the uh, a big issue here. I recorded nothing but first-person shooters today. Like, um... What's coming out right now is actually... What's coming out right now? Far Cry 3... Far Cry 3 and maybe Halo? Might be a little past that. Oh, and Lena's Inception. Um, today actually would have been Lena's Inception, but I I kind of got s I, I I've been stuck, so I've been going back and forth on recording more, because um, I'm really just really stuck, and I want to like have uh I want to make progress if I'm going to be recording, but also I've been playing for like two hours and I haven't made progress. Like I keep getting stuck on the last few puzzles. I've really got to stop doing that thing where I talk about LPs and games and other games, by the way. But, like, then again, I don't have too much to talk about here. This is a fantastic, wonderful experience with a lot of difficulty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well. Let's see if we can't just, um... Cat's crying in there. Go to the third level. Maze of Misery. Wow, yeah. So I'm just going to try out all the levels. Okay, so this one stocks you up pretty hard to begin with. Man, who did this music? This music is fan freaking tastic.
like it has the 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 extremely fast pace that you'd expect from a shooter of the 90s you know because this really does feel like quake or like blood i haven't talked about blood at all on this channel if i'm talking about a classic shooter i'm usually talking about um doom or half-life and i barely talk about quake and uh the build engine games key wait seven Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. That was dumb of me. Okay, so yeah, they leave behind a little fart cloud of the bad stuff. It doesn't do that much damage, though. Still should avoid it, but... Be yeah, of everything, this is very similar to Blood. In Blood, you play... A, I believe you play as a Preacherman. Oh, that's just a pit. Well. Whoops. Alright, let's get back into it. I just checked what day this is actually going up on. Uh, it's apparently going to be going up on International Mountain Day. Pit of Pain. If this is anything like The Pit, the level from Doom, this is going to be pretty kick-ass. The sound effects are all very, very well done. Whoa, what the hell? He, like, blood-walked. I'm noticing a few stock sound effects here and there, but everything else is either like edited or and modulated so well that I can't tell. Uh, it's from a rare sound source, or it's all original. Of course, it might just be my unfamiliarity with it, but I know a lot of stock sound effects. So I wonder if headshots give bonuses. Like, I know that that's, like, so, like, duh for most people, but, like, this is so old of a shooter that I don't know if that's actually the case. Back in the olden, back in my day, back in my day, an enemy was just a sprite, and so shooting it would just damage it. There wasn't any, like, special hit location. And this game is so classic that that might still be the case. They might just be, like, models without, uh, separate things. Although maybe there might even be Gibbs as well. I was actually planning on doing a series on Doom in December, but, like, I didn't really- I don't really have that much original to say, because, like, I've got a lot to say about Doom. But, like, all of it's been said. It's a fucking 40-year-old game, practically. Oops. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the only sound effect that I can tell is from something. Alright, let's try to do it really, really quick, huh? Can I just go down? You totally can. Ah. Okay, so what happens if you just drop right from the start? Because will this kill me? Oh, those are spikes. Yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. Those guys are bad news. It also kind of reminds me of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Although that game is actually called Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion now, I think. Oh, that was a whole lot of text I didn't read.
crossbow. <laughs> Game is now my dad approved. My dad fucking loves crossbows. Okay, so those are spikes. Right, 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 right. The spikes. Forgot about the spikes. Missed the spikes. Oh, you can stick yourself on that ledge there. That's kind of cool. Oh. Everyone in the world and their mom. Okay, so you just can't touch the bottom. You can, because the bullets are projectiles, in some cases your character goes so fast you can nearly outrun the bullet. Which is great. I love, I love that. In some areas in Doom you can go so quickly that you outrun your own rocket and then damage yourself because you ran into a rocket. Even though you shot it. You can shoot a rocket, outrun it. Key. Alright, that's a cool level. Uh, let's go to Towers of Turmoil. Okay. See, so yeah, as you go in the levels, they start to load you up with more, more shit. Just because they're like, yeah, you're going to need these. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, Tower of... T you climb. That's cool. I love uh, Tower Roguelikes. Oops. So I'm not really seeing a lot of random generation here. And, like, going through hell is, like, the perfect place to get random generation. Like, that's how Hades works. That's how Persona 3 works. Like, hell is the perfect place to randomly generate something. But I'm not really seeing it. So maybe the roguelike parts of this game only come in the endless mode, which I have not tried out yet, but I will. I want to take a look at all the levels. Crossbow. So that crossbow is very powerful. Fuck. But uh, the maximum ammo you can have is, I believe, yeah, it's 20. But it looks like it'll kill just about anything in one hit. I, I kind of love I kind of love that. It doesn't actually make any sense because guns have been invented. Gunpowder is better than a crossbow. There is no logical or reasonable sense that a crossbow should be better than a pistol, much less an AK or whatever the hell I'm holding, um, or a shotgun. Whoa! And yet, it is better. This is probably not how you're supposed to play this game. Because this game is meant to be about as run and gun as you can gun and run. <laughs> nice. But hey, they gave me a crossbow. You know, when, when God gives you a crossbow... It's probably a viable verse about that, right? Right, I need to actually pick them up. Uh, this game originally... This game has some weird stuff in the things. Damn. That was a cool level, though. Alright, we're coming up on the end here. We just did Tower of Turmoil. Let's try Flesh of Forsaken. This ought to be a gross level. Oh, yeah, I was right. I thought it would have been more tan than green. This game is great. Has anyone asked Matt McMuscles to play this? He would love this. Like, if Matt doesn't play this one, who He's got a real... He's got a real one coming up. Shit. Um... See, a very, very simple game. But I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this is one of the... It's almost like Halo, maybe? Where you go through the, uh, 
you go through the very, very short campaign, because all these levels have been, like, a couple of minutes. But the campaign is just practice for the, the mode that people actually care about. Which I'm assuming to be... Damn it, shit. Which I'm assuming to be the endless mode in this game. Oh, boy. Come on, just kind of got to hedge it on out. Keep it coming. Okay, we're back to where we were. I hate those guys. I can't do shit to stop them. Like, especially when I'm on here. Like, with a big slow projectile man like that, you can get out of the way of it. It's pretty reasonable, you know? Deus Volt, Deus Volt, Deus Volt. No fall damage is pretty great, though. I love that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Getting real squirrely up in here. Alright, and then I think we only have Source of Sin left. And that sounds... Blood Dragon. Oh boy. Yeah, all right. That's uh that's pretty good. I like that. Who boy. <sighs> Is he going rafflecopter at me? So it looks like uh, using diagonal movement is actually way quicker. Also, ABG always be jumping. That's gumping. ABJ always be jumping. Oh wait, I've got this, right? Nope, that isn't at all what I wanted. Yeah, this is what I wanted. I've got quite the entourage following me. Thank you for the help. Oh boy. Is it too much to ask for some friendly fire? Like, I've talked at great length about how Doom is great and I love enemy infighting. I should really lighten up on the old keyboard though. I'm gonna I'm gonna break my uh, my D key here. This is cool. You love to see a good first-person shooter boss fight. Because, like, a lot of first-person shooters do not have boss fights. Even in, like, the traditional sense. Sorry, even in an untraditional sense. Like, Halo does not have, like, proper boss fights. Doom has, like, four bosses in it total. Oh, man, even this thing's a big fucking cross. That's so silly, I love it. Oh, it's bleeding everywhere. Oh, cool. Now I guess we just gotta mop up everyone, huh? Or no, there's the key. Didn't get it. Okay. Your return. Nice. Unexpected to say the least. Uh, quick done return, well. so. But you may not stay. We can see the lust for carnage and destruction clearly in your eyes. You want to go back. And you shall. 
You want to destroy Sin completely, leaving none of those creatures standing. And for that, we honor and venerate your deeds. Our Lord is proud of you, and especially of your feats against Sin. However, one will be the damned one till their death. You are no exception to this. Return back to where you may thrive and where you may serve us till time immemorial through action and through your stricken memory. Your penance is not yet served, damned one. That's pretty rad. Just that sound. All right. So, yeah, wow. The character just wants violence so... They crave violence so much. Okay, endless mode, huh? So, okay, this is the proper roguelike. This must be the proper roguelike. Something I'm noticing that's pretty rad. Uh, three dimensions. Proper. Like, we have levels that go up and down. They have slopes. We have movement, you know? So yeah, the damned one is uh, is the lizard man, <laughs> which is kind of rad. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Seventy-five points for that guy. Yeah, that makes sense. That those those fuckers do not mess around. No dog. Okay, that's a window. It's a window, Elfried. Demon Min is a hundred. The guys with the machine guns are deceptively difficult, I think. And then this is level two. Okay, so they all have the same color scheme as their uh, campaign counterparts. So I was right. Like, the actual campaign is practice mode for the roguelike mode, which is what people are actually here for. Which is cool. I like that. I like that they essentially like crafted a uh, a campaign that allows you it allows you to practice. It's like, hey, here's what the game's about. Here's all the assets you'll be seeing. Here's what to expect in the roguelike mode. I think more games should do that. I think that's an interesting thing to do for your game and to like to teach a player, you know. Because a lot of roguelikes are really known for their difficulty. I would say, collectively, roguelike is probably the hardest genre of video game. If you can even quantify something like that. Roguelikes are the hardest genre of game. Oh man, that looks so fucking... It's, it's like fucked up, but like it's supposed to be, so good job, I guess. Yeah, I would say roguelikes are the hardest genre of video game. And so to put a tutorial in there is kind of weird, but like, I dig it. It makes a lot of sense, especially for the kind of game that this is. Because right now this is simultaneously a roguelike and like a score attack or a time attack. Survive two levels. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, that's a pretty good look at it. I would recommend people get this game if they like big dumb shooters, uh, lots of violence, if they like the aesthetic. Uh, this was really cool. Um, the campaign is short. It is, as far as I know, just the levels that you can see there. Um, skill games. They did Castle Rodok. They did Raptor Runner. Uh, this, I'm, I'm looking at this company's, uh... Let me see if I can... No, I can't. Um, I'm looking at this company's Itch.io page. They made Penance, Castle Rideau, Radoc, which is a adventure RPG. They made Raptor Runner, which is an endless runner. They made Crypt of Darn, which is a another RPG roguelike. They made Iron Scale, which is another FPS where you play as a lizard. And 
they have worked on a few others, but those are the like game games that they release. Um, scale games, really good, really kick ass. Good job on this one. Short campaign, but fuck, who cares? Uh, FPS campaigns are always really short. I think that this is a fantastic experience the whole way through. Um, I would recommend people buy this and play this. Can you even buy it? Well, let me double check. This game is name your own price. You can just download it. So you can download it for free, but you shouldn't. Because, damn, this was good. I did pay for this game, and I'm glad I did. It was great. Uh, so yeah, I have been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. I'll see you guys next week for... I don't actually know what roguelike I'm playing. Um, more Lena's Inception later this week. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.